Hi, welcome to yet another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to create some 3D gold text. This is fully 3D, or you can see that if we move it about. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So we start all the way from the beginning. Before these do this, you want to either create or download some gold um, uh, gradients so I'll include the set I've got um, on the website photoshopbus.co.uk under Photo Junkies Tutorials or you just google free gold metal materials Photoshop and you'll find loads anyway so first thing we need to do is we need to let's just create some gold so let's get our gradient tool and as you can see I've got this gold pack loaded here and I'm going to use I'm going to use this uh, circular gradient on a new layer and there we go I'm also going to give that a filter so I'm going to give it a distort wave just to give a bit more going on in that gold some more dark and light patches I'm going to create some text so I'll come down to the background layer get my text tool I'm on Times New Roman bold Times New Roman because I just um, like the style of it and I'm painting with black so I'm going to start again on that I think That's better. Hold down shift so I get caps and type gold. Enter. Let's turn off that top layer. I'm going to press control T on that and I'm going to scale this up. Like that. Click, en click enter. I'm going to rasterize this text because we want to merge the layer above it down. Now I could have clicked it and still create the 3D object but I believe it would have made all the extrusion and that the same material and I want a slightly darker, slightly different gold for that one so um, I don't need to merge down. What I need to do is control click on the gold and then on the top layer, layer add a layer mask and that will hide everything but that but which was selected which was the gold letters so remember control click on the thumbnail to select any pixels on that thumbnail on that layer so from control E to merge together on this background I'm just going to give it some green which is my background color I'm going to press control delete just to make it stand out a bit more go back to gold with my 3D panel open and do 3D extrusion create so now we've got this 3d object I'm gonna press control H and that hides basically all the bounding boxes the ground plane and everything just make sure we are snapped to the ground plane which we are control H and now we can work without having to see all that stuff going on I am however just gonna just gonna pull this down a little bit like so okay so first thing I want to do is change the extrusion size and I want to change the material for it so let's go to where it says gold and let's just apply uh, actually caught that gold so let's do that first then that's fine so we'll click that top one and then click this one like that and this is one that I've made so if we come to this one here cap this will give us the options of playing with the bevel so if you just <coughs> want to follow along 
and have this exact same bevel just create a width of 0, an angle of 6, inflate it to 46 and strength at 30 and you can you know choose front and back front but we just want the front uh, and there you go so that's our um, preset done next thing we want to do oh as I say we want to change that extrusion material so let's come to gold extrusion material so you can see it here extrusion material defuse texture replace texture and in my temporary folder I've got one here which is also from that uh, metal pack of gradients that I've got now what I've done is I've downloaded them and I've just sort of you know chosen the gradient opened it and then added stopwatch changed it to how I want so this one's a little darker um, if I open up that one and then I open up that one you can see that basically one is darker than the other you can't really see that because we um, merged it down but believe me that one's a lot darker and I made it so by adding it in the gradient so now we want to use lights get some lights come down to the infinite light I'm going to change it to a point light I'm going to press control H again so I can actually see um, that's not actually showing me anything so why is that oh let me get on the move tool that's why not so now I'm on the move tool point light um, we can use these two the slide and the push pull drag um, options so I'm going to come like so get the slide drag out that shadow center it a bit and maybe turn the color up just to brighten that a little bit not much we'll leave the shadow as it is and we'll keep it like that now what we need to do is go ahead and render this so getting rid of all that stuff we hit on render and uh, the new mercury engine in Photoshop is a lot faster than the old renderer but it'll still take a little bit of time depending on uh, your machine your processor really um, it doesn't take long on this I'll probably fast forward but as you can see it's second or third pass over it is okay so I'm gonna leave it like that but um, you render it a bit longer remember um, my example I don't know if it's still there but my example at the beginning I'd rendered for maybe five minutes and you didn't have none of this I've just done something um, just change the intensity of the color great let's leave it like that yeah there's still um, noise around there when you render so anyway next we want to create a new layer let's fill it with 50% grey, open up the colour picker and change the brightness to 50 so a quick way of getting 50% grey fill it with 50% grey I'm going to convert it to a smart filter so we can reopen the filter if needed and we can also use um, the fade if command which normally you can only use it edit fade um, if it's the first option you choose after you've created the filter when it's a smart filter we can use it as much as we want Go filter, filter, render, lighting effects, and I've set up these here. So just copy those settings, and we'll click OK. And we're going to set the blend mode to overlay. Now we're going to bring the opacity down. and I'm probably only going to use this you can double click here in the corner and you can change blend modes and maybe have it on color burn and you can play with the settings but um, I think I'll put this back as it was 
like so and I'm just going to crop the top of this because I don't like all that up there maybe just a little bit at the bottom okay and just uh, while we talk I'll just go ahead and render this so that's how you can create some 3D gold looking text. Now the thing to remember in this tutorial is how to create that bevel. It's in a different place obviously because we haven't got the repose book box like we had before. Um, so things are a little bit different. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Catch you next time.